Here it comes, my uh, top nine songs for the Prince For You debut album, uh, rated by me, and a few surprises in the countdown, so check it out. This is Prince's Corner. Yeah, good evening, folks. Uh, this is Prince's Corner, and today I'm doing uh, my top songs on uh, the For You album. I didn't break down the track listings, so uh, I'm breaking down and giving my opinion on the top songs for Prince's debut album, For You. Uh, there are nine songs, so uh, we're going to break them down and give you the favorites. Uh, my top nine and we're gonna do them in that order which one i think is number one which one i think is number nine so we're gonna start right here um coming in at number nine uh is just as long as we're together uh this was a track that was the second release for the For You album, and just as long as we're together, like I said, it's a okay song you want to work out and dance to. It was really the only song to me that was in the spirit of 1978 with the more danceable disco type vibe but you know it's my least favorite so it comes in at number nine because like i said i rated this album number uh number seven from one through ten and if i do a five star i give it two and a half three i'd say two and a half stars three almost but to be fair, I give it two and a half because I think it was okay as a debut album, but like I said, I'm getting a seven out of ten because I liked it, but yeah, uh, this was his start. So that uh, just as long as we're together comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight on this countdown of For You, uh, Prince For You album, the top nine songs. Uh, number eight will be In Love. Uh, I love this track when I <laughs> first got the album, but eh, I don't, I, I don't go back to it as much as it's not not a great great tune it was it was okay you know but when i listened to it earlier i, I liked it but it all it just died i don't know but uh it's number eight <laughs> and like i said it's an okay track it's not a great track and you know it's gotta be songs that I still go back to now or in my playlist so this is not one that I go back to or in my playlist so I'm gonna say is that number eight you know and hey starting off great tune but it comes in at number eight Coming in at number seven for the For You album top nine songs. And coming in at number seven will be So Blue. 
I like this song. Uh, don't listen to it as much now, but this song grew on me later on. Like I said, I purchased the album in 1990. It grew on me around the late 90s, 2000. It's such a sad song. It's an acoustic love song. It's so sad, but uh, if it had strings in it, I might have loved it more, but you know, number seven, it's not too bad. So, so blue, number seven. Let's move on. Coming in at number six for the For You album, Countdown of the Nine Songs, that I will recommend. And coming in at number six is Soft and Wet. Wow. <laughs> Why Soft and Wet is number six? Uh, Soft and Wet is a great track. Funky. I still listen to it today, but we're getting to the nitty gritty of the countdown uh this was a great lead off track for prince it was a great it was a hit r b hit didn't do well on the pop charts but hey this was in the spirit of the 78 funk groups that was coming out like cameo uh confunction a lot of those groups uh zap and everything this was what the sound was going to be in the 80s so this is a great track uh soft and wet uh and what can i say it's number six on this album because i'm getting to the nitty-gritty and some songs that i really like coming up so i put this at number six so let's move on coming in at number five for the for you album top nine songs that i will recommend Coming in at number five would be I'm Yours. Uh, this is a song that I listen to now. It, it's got a great spirit, you know, and it it could be, it's a great travel song. It, it is really a great montage song it's just it's a great song it's funk and rock and i give it number five because i grew to love it didn't listen to it a lot back in the day but i grew to love it and i really like it so just say i've been listening to this song for the last five years off and on it's on my playlist so yeah this is number five a uh, rock funk feel that Prince would be known for that he would really sustain in the 80s combining that sound so I'm yours is at number five great track we're gonna move on to the countdown and I'm gonna give you number four coming in at number four wow hard decision but number four is for you uh for you is the lead off song uh, it could be higher if it was longer but such a great lead off song with his voices uh a collage of voices together harmonies and that high pitched sound that prince will be known for is great it's beautiful when you come to this album it's like Hey, come and join me. It's a calling. And this song is so great. And hey, I'm listening to it to this day. I really listen to it now. So uh, it's at number four, but it would be higher if it was uh, a little longer. This was a mirage, uh, me, a collage of voices, a cappella. And great. Hey, Prince, letting you know this is what I can do. I, can, I have a voice. I'm a musician, but I also can sing. And it comes in at number four. So we're going to move on to the number three song. Coming in at number three for the For You album, Top Nine Songs. And the songs I would recommend. And it's getting harder and harder. Number three is Crazy You. Great song. Uh, shout out to Eric Magic Michaels, uh, DJ in St. Louis. 
he used to play this a lot. He used to he's he loved Prince and he used to play a lot of Prince tunes on uh when it was Magic One oh eight uh in St. Louis back in the nineties. And when I went to the Prince concert in ninety seven in St. Louis at the Kill Center, um uh, <laughs> I had to get bootleg tickets because I was just getting off of work and I didn't want to miss this concert. This was the jam of the year tour, and uh, I told my I, I made sure the tickets were leg, was legit, and I asked him, uh, "Is these seats good?" You know, and I had some great seats, and he checked it, see if it was legit. He was a big, big Prince fan. He used to love to play the debut album on the radio. A lot of the songs from the debut album, and Crazy You was one of his favorites, and that I used to hear and I just really fell for this song because it's a great ballad, you know, acoustic more in the style of So Blue, but it is great. It's a little bit short, you know, coming in at two minutes, 17 seconds. And what can I say about this song? I love it. And that's why it's number three on the countdown. And hey, I recommend this song. All right, we're gonna move on to the number two song. All right, number two in the countdown for the Prince album for you. Man, baby. I tell you, as much as I listen to this song, baby, uh, baby, this would have been my number one song voting even 10 years ago because I wore this song out and it was one of my favorites it's so beautiful the strings the music the storytelling and this is my number two uh, I would, hey I recommend this highly play this song because it's such a beautiful song for a 19 year old kid to sing, uh, whether it was true or not, this was about him and a girl, you know, and what they're gonna do. She's pregnant, gonna have a baby. And hey, what should I do? Should I stick by, should I stay with it, or should I go? And, you know, he made the decision, he's gonna stay with her. and. Oh man, this is a beautiful, beautiful love ballad, uh, love song, and I highly recommend this song. And it's the second best song on the For You album. Uh, man, this, I, I, I could have voted this number one. Like I said, 10 years ago, this would have been the number one song on the For You album. But I'm voting it number two. Great track. I recommend each and everybody to go get this song. And we're gonna move on to the grand finale, the number one song for the For You album. Without further ado, the number one song for Prince's debut album, For You, is My Love Is Forever. Wow, great tune, man. This song, for the last 10 years, this is one song I can't get out of my head. Uh, it's on my playlist constantly. Uh, I listen to it so much and it, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel great. It has so much inspiration in it. And like I said, when I first got it, it reminded me of Al Jarreau song. But it, it's that up-tempo funkiness and it's an easy spirit, but Prince high pitch vocals lead it and even at the end it gets higher and the music, his keyboard playing is off the chain. You know, him and Stevie, you know, they some of the best keyboards and this song was great. If I, at the time, if I, back then in 1978, if I was older, cause I was still a kid, 
I would have been playing this song out. You know, it was the B side of, mm, I think, um, Soft and Wet. One of the B side, or probably the B side of uh, one of his '79 tracks. I get to that. I have to look at my sheets, but uh, great number one song and. To top this album, uh, this is why I gave the album seven. You know, I give it a two and a half out of five stars because uh, you know that's rating it in a different way. But in my way, seven out of ten, I give this album because I love so many of the tracks. And when I get down to like the top three, these are songs that I really, really love, and I play a lot to this day. So. My Love Is Forever is one song that is one of my favorite. It's probably in my top 25 of Prince songs because I just can't get this song off my head. Off my head. It's, it's a great tune. And it tops the For You album. So I appreciate uh, you folks listening to the top nine songs on the For You album that I would recommend. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be coming with another video. I'm going to be moving on from this year. So to 1979, pretty soon. So um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is Princess Corner. Uh, I want to say peace. God bless. Thank you. Hey, check me out on Twitter.